there signs of another girl in your relationship? Has your husband or boyfriend gotten a text from his ex and it's driving you crazy and you don't know what to do about it? Well then if that's the case, then keep watching. This video is just for you. Hi ladies, my name is Yeva Bereshita and I am one of Grash's high value women coaches. Today I'm going to be talking about four reasons why you should not worry about the other woman. Also, make sure you check out Gresha's self-awareness test to actually find out if you're a woman of high value or of low value, and you can find that test in the description section down below. Also, if you want to get your hands on a really nice t-shirt or a hoodie that Gresha has for sale on her online shop, then make sure you have a look. You can find the link to that in the description section down below. So reason number one is the ex-girlfriend reason. If you are in a relationship with your guy, or maybe you're even married or engaged, and an ex-girlfriend of his texts him and he tells you about it, then you basically have nothing to worry about. Maybe even his ex-girlfriend might text you. If that's the case, you still have nothing to worry about. Remember that ex-girlfriends are ex-girlfriends for a reason. Remind yourself, if you are feeling insecure about it, that he is with you now, not his ex-girlfriend. He is with you. She is in the past. If you are acting high value, you have nothing to worry about. And acting high value in this particular situation really, really does mean that you do not get jealous about it. Genuinely, a high value woman is never jealous. But when it comes down to this, make sure that you are 100% not jealous of his ex reaching out to him. If an ex reaches out to him, it means that she is pursuing him. She is initiating. She is basically chasing him, and that is low value behavior. If you are emotionally in control, you do not show jealousy, you do not ask about the ex. And if he actually tells you that she texted him, you have nothing to worry about. He will be blown away by the fact that you are not jealous of her. And for a woman not to be jealous about something like this, it is very rare. And if he tells you about it, it's a very, very good sign. It would be much worse if he would be hiding it. But since he's actually telling you or mentions it randomly, it means that he is fully your guy and fully on your side. It also would be super uninteresting for him when he is with a high value woman and his ex would start calling or texting him, right? Even if he would text back, it would not even last because he would get bored. He would see that you're not jealous and he would start getting worried if you really do love him and he would start questioning why you're not getting jealous and all of the attention would go towards you. This is why you have nothing to worry about. Reason number two is asking yourself, are you being jealous? And jealousy is something that I really want to talk about in this reason in more detail. If you are jealous of another woman right? Whatever woman that might be. If you are jealous of her and you show it, it means you see her as competition. And if you are jealous of the other woman that is talking to your guy at work or the ex that might text him and you're jealous, it means that you are scared to lose him. It also shows a lot of lack of trust 
towards your guy and a lot of insecurity. This is why it's important not to be jealous or show your jealousy to your guy because then he sees just how important he is to you and just how much you care and love him. A guy gets his ego boosted big time when he sees that you are acting jealously. An ego boost is not something that you want to give to a guy. Really not something you want to give, right? And you would give him a huge ego boost if he started acting jealous because he then knows just how much you love him and he would have you at the palm of his hand. And even bad attention or a negative reaction is still a reaction. A high value woman does not see other women as competition and she is not scared that they might take away her man. This is fundamental and it's very, very important. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Gretchen's YouTube channel down below by clicking the subscribe button. Also hit the bell button to be notified whenever she posts a brand new video. Reason number three is, is he talking about her? If your guy mentions a girl at work or tells you that some girl texted him or maybe his ex, as I mentioned, there's nothing that you should worry about simply because your guy is not hiding it from you. If you lose emotional control when he shows you a text or when he mentions another woman, he will see just how emotionally dependent you are of him or towards him and that he really does have you in the palm of his hand. The best thing that you can do when a guy shows a text or talks about a work colleague is to react completely normally or even seem a little bit bored by it. Whatever you do, don't make a scene. If he would be texting girls behind your back, or flirting with them, that is something completely different. If he actually tells you about it, it shows his love towards you more than anything else. Because if he would really be interested, he wouldn't be showing you the texts. He wouldn't mention it. Make sure to remind yourself of this if you are in this type of situation. And actually, the less you react to the other woman, the more in love he will fall for you. There can always be another woman. And by that, I don't mean another lover or anything like that. I just mean, you know, if your guy works in a company and he has female work colleagues, right? And you know, they might, well, in Germany, this is very common. This is why I'm just going to mention it. They might go out for lunch together um, with maybe some other work colleagues or just the two of them, you know, like at 12 o'clock or at 1 p.m. or something like that, just like for work lunch with his work colleague. And this is very, 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 um, it happens very often here and a lot of people do it. And if you find out, then whatever you do, don't get jealous because it's really no big deal and don't make a big deal out of it. Or if he gets a text from a work colleague after work and he tells you, um, or you just see it, don't overreact, okay? See where is, it goes and how he reacts, right? What does he do? And you will very quickly see um, what his intentions are, especially if he's going to just mention it to you or if he might mention the work colleague in some scenario, okay? 
that already shows that he is really not interested in taking it further with her because if he was, he would really hide it from you. Reason number four is no trust, no relationship. And by this I mean it is very important that you trust your guy and that he can trust you as well. If he breaks your trust, you leave. It is very important that you trust your guy and that your guy trusts you. It's never about reading through his messages, checking his profile, listening to his phone calls, or being worried if he's taking longer to get back home. These are very, very big no-nos. And when a woman complains about something like this, it shows that she is not trusting towards her guy. If you give your guy trust and he misuses it, then we have to be strong enough to leave. Be high value and follow Gresh's advice as much as you can and really implement it in all areas of your life. When you do that, you're going to be a high value woman and not someone who gets jealous because she knows why men try to make women jealous, right? You can read behind the things that he does. You see the intention behind it when you learn the teachings or how to be a high value woman. High value women know how to have emotional control don't get jealous, respect themselves and others, and are very good at setting boundaries and sticking to them. High value women do not chase men and they do not fight for their attention. They give trust to their partners, right? They don't stalk them. High value women don't do any of that stuff because they know if there is no trust, there is no relationship. When a guy is with a high value woman, he loves her a lot and he would not sabotage the relationship to be with another woman um, because he knows that if he did that and she would find out, she would leave him and it's not worth the risk. And for low value women, a lot of the time, men do cheat because they believe that she will throw a tantrum but take him back after a while, right? You don't risk losing the woman of your life for something quick. He knows that a high value woman would be strong enough to leave. So it's very important to be clear to yourself to know that, okay, there is no trust, there is no relationship because trust is the fundamental core of a relationship, right? And if that is mistreated, it is very difficult to bring that back to the way that it was. This is why I always say it's very important to have a life outside of your man to have your hobbies, to, you know, um, work, enjoy doing your work and just live your life. And he's like, you know, the cherry on top. He's the extra, you know, and that's the way it should be, I think, because then you're not dependent on him, right? And when you're not depending like that on him to that degree, you are strong within yourself and you have a lot of self-respect, right? And if anything does happen, you are naturally strong enough to leave because you know that there is no um, relationship when there is no trust. But a man, a high value man, would not risk a relationship with a high value woman just for a quick flank. That's not how it works.
If you like this video so far, then give me a thumbs up and let me know what you like the most in the comment section down below. Join Gratis Free High Value Women's School to learn how to bring out the best in your man and you can find the link to her Facebook group in the description section down below. And if you want to know how to stay attractive via text, what games men play on women, how to control your emotions, how to get your ex back, how to love yourself, or perhaps you have a hobby that you want to turn into an online business, then Greta has these videos and more up for sale on her website. And her website is in the description section down below. Also, if you have not heard already, Greta has launched an amazing course. It's called the High Value Women Course. This course teaches women how to be high value in their relationships from A to Z. This course is really amazing and I really do recommend checking it out and you can find it on Greta's website as well and the link to that is down below. Also for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, Greta or any other member of her team, you can find all of that on Greta's website as well. And if you don't follow Greta on her Instagram, make sure you give her a follow and her Insta is ladies relationship coach. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know just how much you liked it and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.